Teach Stephen Hendry knocked a long red in and made a maximum break. He's not going to do that here, but is he going to get back to the table? There's a long way to go, but Mark Williams is in command. Fourteen. Fifteen. Well, there's a deathly silence come over the Wembley Conference Center. You can't watch. Well, it's gone very awkward here. He's still got a red on, but uh, a little bit hampered. Twenty-one. He's Seven. just misjudged it. Another couple of inches. It looked plain sailing. He's had a look at the two reds alongside the brown. I don't think they're in line. He's having a good look at that possible plant. It's not an easy safety shot, so he's just looking to see where he would shoot the first red so as to make the angle. Very, very risky, <coughs> though. And he looked at the referee. I don't know what he said, but Alan Chamberlain smiled. hasn't got an absolutely straightforward path back there you see the plant now certainly they're off line to the right of the pocket so he's going to have to manufacture this <laughs> not in the pocket surely he doesn't deserve that if it just misses the jaws he's nicely on the pink or the green but he's faced with another tough shot Thank you. Thank you. The oh, box gone over just to uh, wipe his hands. The tension is just electric at the moment. And he's faced with a very difficult pink. In fact, this time he's playing the safety shot off the yellow. Don't worry, he didn't Mark try Williams, to pop that, but 28. it's not the best safety shot that he's ever played. Should have had that cue ball tight on the bottom cushion. A long straight red. It was a slightly easier pot than Mark Williams got to start that last break, but a tremendous one in the circumstances. Back to the wall.
seven. But he didn't time that one too well, Stephen. I and mean, he may have the red. I think it's another plant ray. side cushion before the pocket but he hit the bottom cushion instead but another tester another long pot That last pot sums up Stephen Hendry. Full-blooded for it. Had he have missed it, he would have left them for Mark 21. Williams. Twenty-two. There's a lot of snooker to be played in this deciding frame because the reds are not ideally placed. Twenty-nine. In fact, there's three of them. Almost on the cushions. 30. <laughs> 37. So unlucky, the cue ball going into the jaws of the green pocket, but don't take anything away from this effort from Stephen. Some exceptional pots to get this far, and some more required. that red that he's looking at to the left center pocket it's a very acute angle and that's where he'd like to get the cue ball but he's fairly straight on the black so you have to screw back with a little bit of right hand side to swing it towards that red and if the red uh, is not on he may take the double he may try and double the other one because he wouldn't be leaving anything, only the red is taking on. Stephen Henry, 45. Quiet, please. Anyone's guess who's going to lift this trophy. Well, he's got a, an angle on the blue, albeit a, it's a thinnish cut, but to come off this back cushion and maybe nudge that red out into play. But steering it towards the red, he's overcut the blue. Mark Williams, one. Six. 
Stephen Hendry, six. So many times do we see it when a good shot's required at a vital time, Stephen produces one. And uh, Mark is, I think, going to have to play this at a reasonable pace and just hope he comes off the two cushions and knocks the red away. Uh, there's a shot to nothing on here. Pink down the other end. This could be the match winner. made sure he missed it on the uh, right side. It's not a snooker. I think he can get past the blonde. But the pressure out there is just something else. of this one. Another inch or so off the cushion and Mark Williams could have snicked that red in. I don't think he can. Well, Stephen a little fortunate, but you would have to say that Mark Williams has had a fair bit of run. A good shot from this young man. Just a little bit sticking out, I think. Where's the cue ball going? across the table with the red to try and get it in behind the black and back up towards green and pink with the white. Now, long, hard look. Can he... I think he can get between the brown and black, but... Uh, stops him doing a deal with the cue ball unless he can hit it full enough to stun behind the black. Another good shot. And the way the balls are situated, you could well see that whoever does 